Lies of P is a gripping Souls-like that plunges players into a dark and twisted reimagining of the timeless tale Pinocchio. Set in the ominous city of Krat, this Neo-Wiz game masterpiece combines the atmospheric gothic elements of Bloodborne with its own unique narrative. Immerse yourself in a world where truth and deceit intertwine and you navigate treacherous challenges and face formidable bosses. The trophy list for this game consists of 26 bronze trophies, 13 silver, and 3 gold, bringing the trophies including the platinum to 43 trophies. Also, this is your warning that I will be showing off bosses and endings to the story so if you don't want anything in the game spoiled for you, this was your warning. The story starts with an homage to the original creator of the 1980s Pinocchio, Carlo Collati, and P gets waken up by a blue butterfly. I end up going with the strength class, but trust me, it doesn't stay like this. And we start our journey through Krat. And there is our first trophy, Fatal Blow. Deliver a successful fatal attack. There it is. The ultimate defense technique. Destroy an enemy's weapon with a perfect guard. Already two trophies down. Come on, this is gonna be easy. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I'm just kidding. I'm probably gonna get rolled like hundreds of times during this game. Krat Central Station Plaza. And there's another trophy, Stargazer's Guide. Repair a Stargazer. Here's our first merchant. And here we're actually going to purchase the other two starter weapons because we are going to be going for the trophy Normal Weapon Collector. And that's obviously for just collecting all the normal weapons in the game. And we're going to purchase the Saber Blade. And that is three out of, I think, the 29 that we need. Now, if I remember from the demo, our first boss fight should be coming up as soon as I open this door. Yep, yeah, this is definitely a boss fight. Just a big doofus. Look at him. Ah, oh my God, I might be fucked. No, I dodged too early. Uh, first death, first death. It's fine, it's fine. So I forgot to resume my recording. Um, I got the trophy for killing the puppet master. Where is it? Right here. The parade master. Sorry, not the puppet master. And I also told a lie in front of the hotel crat entrance. I promise it won't happen again. Who are you? Oh, it's a cat. What's oh? All right, man. I'll leave you alone. While this gameplay is going on in the background, I forgot to add that this game requires two full playthroughs, one primarily telling truths and one lies. And the main reason is the endings that are tied behind both playthroughs. There are three different endings in this game with three trophies attached to each different ending. There's one that everyone can get just from playing through the game and then the other two are locked behind those two playthroughs. So I'm in for a crazy ride. Ooh, electric coil stick head and handle. Yeah, let me get that. There we go. Crap police baton and crap police baton handle. Another weapon for the trophy. Although I'm almost dead and I'm probably going to die here. So yeah, Mad Donkey, which is a pretty funny name. Or you could backstab him. Interesting. Yeah, buddy, you're done. Get out of here. Get out of here. First try. The bastards and the sweepers. Kill a stalker. Oh, I got the hunting apparel and an Enigma assembly tool and my max pulse cells have increased. One of the coolest features of this game is the ability to essentially make your own weapons and make weapon combinations. So I can use a police baton handle with an electric coil stick head and get both of their fable art abilities. One for the handle and one for the head or blade I choose. Make this. And exploring possibilities. Try to assemble a weapon. Why did I say try? I did. What are you talking about, man? Shortly after, I obtained my first record, which is another trophy that we need. I need all 16 of them, but I believe 5 or 6 are tied to New Game Plus, so that's another reason for us having to do another playthrough with this game. Oh man, the Scrapped Watchman was a big wall for me. My first time fighting this guy, I was getting absolutely wrecked. Death after death. Looking back on it, he's not a tough boss fight at all, but for only about an hour into the game, I can see why people struggle with this fight. No, I died. I blocked, bro. Oh, I blocked that, man. It really made me learn the timings of perfect guard, but eventually we take oh the boss down. Oh my god, down. I love it. I love it. As soon as I go for that shit, he fucking jumps up and thank god damn it, he's a fucking idiot. Oh my god, this is so fucking frustrating. Come on, man. Come on! Scrapped Watchman. Kill the Scrapped Watchman. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, man. Man, if that was the first boss after the tutorial, I'm... This is gonna be kind of rough. One of the other side trophies I'm going for is for upgrading our P organ tree all the way to phase 5. The P organs act as passive buffs in a way on P and with them we can upgrade certain abilities or other useful things that will help us later in the game, like the ability to get more pulse cells. Salamander, dagger, blade, and handle. Sal Whoa, hold up. This is a fire blade? Okay. 
the fire axe blade and fire axe handle interesting who are you people man oh my god oh my god oh my god wait boss fight hold on puppet of the future what he's not necessarily tough but he does a lot of damage so i guess it's just a patience fight oh i'm gonna hit here oh, never mind all right well that's puppet of the future down um wasn't very challenging i will say but we got a boosted glaive blade and a handle so we do need that for the normal weapon trophy oh my god it's vanini oh we got a boss here at hotel Krat, i have the side quests as what i'm going to call them tied to all the main characters here so we have lady antonia eugenie vanini geppetto and sophia and each of these characters has a trophy tied to their side quest that i will have to complete all right now let's take on this boss King's Flame Fuoco was the next boss on our list to take down, and he wasn't that tough of a boss. I found out about the overpoweredness of throwables in this game, so don't judge me, but you're going to be seeing a lot of cheesing with this in the future. Get out of here. King's Flame. Kill King's Flame Fuoco. I still don't know if I'm saying that right, but get out of here. Ooh, all right, pipe. Big pipe wrench head and handle. Another weapon for the trophy. In the Path of Misery, I'm introduced to a new enemy type, the Carcasses. They aren't too different from the normal puppets I've been fighting, but have the status effect called Decay, where if your bar fills up all the way, not only does your health bar start to dwindle away, but so does your weapon durability. So it's definitely best to avoid Decay and is 100% the worst thing about this game. What is that? Never mind, I don't like this place. Man, there better not be no, like, puppet spiders down here. In the cathedral, I find another trinity door I can't open. Trinity doors are secret rooms that I need a specific key to get to, and these specific keys are tied behind riddles that the master of riddles asks us through these payphones. There's also a trophy tied behind them, and there's five in total. I find another weapon, get lost, but just find out I have to push this thing down to get rid of the decay pool below that I literally ran past like twice. Oh man, watching this back is so painful. You're literally staring at it, dumbass. I find a cryptic vessel which we can take back to Vanini and he can decipher those, which we also need for a trophy. A lot of the stuff in this game is tied to a trophy, which I mean I like. Meeting Alidoro, since this is my live playthrough, I sent him to Vanini Works. Although, no matter what you choose, he ends up going to Hotel Krat anyway. He is also the person that I will be exchanging my boss Ergo for special weapons. There are 12 special weapons that I need for the trophy Special Weapon Collector, and Alidoro has 11 of them. I wonder where the 12th one is. Oh, and I also buy the weapon I'll be using for majority of the game, the Holy Sword of the Ark. And we approach the next boss fight. Archbishop Andreas is the next fight and the start of a trend in this game, the two-phase boss fights. Every main boss past chapter 4 is a two-phase boss fight, so you can probably imagine how upset I was when I finally beat this first phase. That was, uh, that wasn't bad at all. Took me literally the next track. What is happening with this game now, man? Do I have to fight this now? Oh, hell nah. Are you for real? Bro, are you serious? A two phaser? Just to find out there was a phase two. After finding out there was a phase two, this boss got a lot harder. Ow! Bro, how? After about an hour, yes, a whole hour, I finally beat the boss thanks to help from the Spectre and throwables. Bitch. Fallen Archbishop. Kill the fallen Archbishop Andreas. Who is this? Oh, who the hell is this guy? Oh, well, I mean, there's the Archbishop dead. Oh, right, here's another record. Cecile's written confession as well. Yeah. All right, dude. We'll send you to Hotel Krat. The Trident of the Covenant. Another weapon that we need for the trophy. There's four out of 11. Acidic Crystal Spear Blade and Handle. There's another weapon. Hobbler's Bridge. This does not look promising at all. What the fuck are you? Another weapon, a bone cutting saw blade and handle. Perfect. A candle? No, I'm not cheating, I promise. We got another Trinity key. Oh my God, it's Red Lobster. And right here, we're actually gonna pick up another weapon, the Bramble Curved Sword Blade and Handle. And we're also gonna pick up this record someday because I think I mentioned it before, but we need all the records in the game. And I think there's 13. Oh, it's the it's the rabbit, the black rabbit hood, the, the rabbit, the hood of the rabbits. All right, let's do it. All right, well, I mean, he, he's he's dead. Uh, the delayed match. Oh, the eldest of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. That's what it was. That wasn't very hard. 
there's a trophy bear gold fruit bear gold coin fruit harvest gold coin fruit i get the rosa isabella street key and that's right where i'm headed Ooh, the dancer's curved sword blade and the sword handle um i'm not liking this i still don't know how the doll's talking oh because it's not a doll get out of here i lie to this npc and kill the mad clown puppet side boss inside the mansion that's what i'm going to call it of course there's spider puppet things that are super annoying and i meet adelina which is a side quest we have to do for a record all that's required is for me to go buy the red apple at the hotel and give it to her i pick up another weapon and the next boss on the list is the king of puppets another two-phase boss fight and personally my favorite fight in the game I like the second phase a lot as it really seems like a get good kind of fight, although it did take me a few tries. With the help of throwables and the specter, the boss goes down. Bitch. King of fucking puppets. Kill Romeo, king of puppets. That was a... The first phase was not very fun, but the second phase is a really fun boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. I return to Adelina to find out she's dead, but we get the record. Thanks Adelina, you've contributed to a great cause. I buy another weapon from Puccinella and a new boss weapon from Alidoro. The puppet ripper. I lie to Antonia saying she still resembles the same lady in the painting. There's another weapon, clock sword blade and clock sword handle. I have lost count of how many weapons I have. The next area is the Lorenzini arcade and I will say I am not a fan of this place. I don't know if it's all the carcass enemies or what but this place is just not fun to go through at all. I get two new weapons, my hair gets longer which is a good sign because it means that my humanity is going up and I am on the right path for the ending that I want. I solve another one of the riddle master's riddles to secure another trinity key and the boss for this area champion victor he's meh. I'm not a big fan of the guy and he's pretty forgettable as a boss. Probably my least favorite in the game. Get out of here champion victor. Kofi earned. Champion of evolution. Kill champion victor. After though, I meet the big boss guy of the game, Simon Manus. He pretty much wants to become god by absorbing so much ergo he becomes unstoppable. So, I mean obviously we're gonna stop him. We also get the key to the respec room which is a cool feature I think and lets me respec my build whenever I want to try new things. And I'm gonna become very familiar with the statue. Seeing the red fox and the black cat, I'm generous enough to give them a gold fruit coin only because they give me a record and a gesture in return. Other than that, I do not care. Back at Hotel Krat, I have enough Legion Calibers to fully upgrade one of my Legion arms and get a trophy for it. Fully upgrade that and get the trophy strongest Legion arm for modify a Legion arm to its max level. Pull the lever, Gronk. And here we're going to pick up another boss weapon, Frozen Feast, which looks super sick. I'm not going to lie, this looks really cool. We get another weapon, Live Puppets, Axe, Blade, and Handle. Bro, is that a puppet of two puppets of the future? What? All that for a quartz, man. Ah, I love it. Not a fan of this cannon stuff, man. I'm not gonna lie. No, 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 you stupid fucking butterfly. Oh my fucking god. This area is some fucking bullshit. Stop. Please. No. No way. No, they can't. 24,000 fucking ergo, bro. All because of some bullshit, man. There's not even a fucking such bullshit, man. That's so fucking annoying. I fucking hate it here. That's so bad. Like, how, where the fuck was the third one? Is that a fucking bear, bro? Holy shit. Got another weapon. The city long spear blade and handle. Yeah, no. Nope. I, I don't think I'm going to fight you. The boss of this area, the green monster of the swamp, and the puppet devouring green monster was extremely annoying but thanks to the almighty duo of throwables and the specter the boss goes down without much fuss get out of here puppet devouring green monster kill the puppet devouring green monster the more that i've played this game the more that i know how overpowered throwables are man if you just stock yourself up with throwables and you can just get through the first phase of a boss fight the second phase is most of the time super easy there we go and right here we can buy the pistol rock drill blade and handle and that is another weapon that we need for the trophy here we go here's another weapon master chef's knife blade and handle here's another weapon coil uh thor's hammer i don't know how to say the name but it, it's pretty much thor's hammer and right here we can get the military shovel blade and handle that is another weapon for the trophy holy what is going on collapsing crot they say when crystals appear from the ground sign of end of days, it's the end, we're all gonna die, we're all going to die. Jeez, man. The corrupted parade master was a massive pushover as he's pretty much the same boss fight, just with a couple extra attacks. Not too hard at all. Corrupted parade master, trophy earned. 
Kill the corrupted parade master. I had to make sure I was recording so I didn't mess up like I did on the first parade master boss fight. Let's see what's happened to Hotel Crot. <sighs> oh, wow. Where is everybody at? Before we do that, I got to go back and use this Trinity key. There's, there's more important things to do. There is four out of five Trinity keys. Just need one more. And then we have the trophy. Here's the last phone. No, I'm not a killer. I ain't lying. Okay, well, we got the King of Riddles surprise box. I, I don't know what that does. Okay, so let's use this. Let's get the Trinity key. We got the last Trinity key, but of course we can never escape the decay. Nice, there's another emote that we need. And right here, we can actually craft the last Legion arm that we need, the Falcon eyes, and we should get a trophy. Legion arm collector, collect all Legion arms. Oh, and I leveled up, I guess. I'm level 250. Nice, there's another weapon, the black steel cutter blade and handle. There's another record, Mystery A? Misty something, Misty Era? I don't know. All right, guys, coming over to the P organs right here. I do have enough to actually get to phase five, which is for a trophy, extreme potential. So we're just gonna slot, ah, let's do enhanced fable arts. And then there it is, extreme potential. Activate P organ phase five. Let's finish this story, man. And right here we have the Cursed Knight's handle or Cursed Knight's halberd blade and handle. I don't like this. It's the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I got their name right this time. Man, y'all getting rocked. I don't know what to tell you. And it's done. Revenge of Black. Kill the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. That's an interesting name for a trophy. I didn't want to do this, man. You were cool. You gotta go, man. <sighs> You feel warmth. Sorry, man. I didn't want to do it to you, but I got to. We can actually get two records here, but one of them's locked behind a truth and one of them's locked behind a lie. And since this is my lie playthrough, I will be getting that one. There is also a trophy I'm going to be going for in the next playthrough, the story of a stranger girl. But that obviously has me tell the truth and I'm not going to do that this playthrough. So there we go. Far East Princess. What is Sophia doing here? Dude, this area looks sick. Whoa, boss down. That was such a weird fight. I didn't like that at all. It just didn't seem like there needed to be a boss there. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Aha! See, I've learned. Always look on the roofs because you never know. I could have died. I probably would have died, actually. Here we go. The Acidic Great Curved Sword Blade and Handle. Interesting weapon. And right here is the last Trinity Sanctum. You use the Chosen One's Trinity Key. And there it is. End of Riddles. Discover all Trinity Sanctums. More like, I'll let you go if you give me your mask. I don't want your sister. You're getting messed up, my man. Loser. Yeah, give me that mask. Another vessel, mechanical cryptic vessel. So, as soon as I hand this toy to Vanini, we should get the trophy. There it is, the story of the prince. Find out about the last story of Vanini. And then we're gonna hand him the cryptic vessel and we're gonna head to this location. And after he hands us this quartz, we should get Veteran Explorer. <laughs> Decipher all cryptic vessels and claim their rewards. You can just grab me off the ladder. I'm losing my fucking mind because of a fucking baby. This is outrageous. This is so bad. This is so fucking bad, bro. This is just bad game, but this is bad game design. This area is the worst final area I've ever seen in any fucking game. So bad. Oh shit, we got a boss fight. Oh man. This next boss fight, Laxasia the Complete. In my opinion, the hardest boss fight in the entire game. The first phase, not so bad. But that second phase, man. First, she starts out with firing lightning at you, which you can parry. But the window between her last attack and her next attack is so small, it really is a challenging boss fight. So I called an audible. I'm switching up the build again. Um, I'm going with a technique build this time, and I'm using the OP2 Dragon Sword build. You've probably seen it if you've played this game. It's super overpowered. I'm gonna take this to plus five, and we're gonna get strongest special weapon right here. Strengthen a special weapon to its max level, and we're gonna come over here. I'm just gonna do the booster glaive blade because why not? And we're going to get this to plus ten, strongest normal weapon. Strengthen our normal weapon to its max level. This has got to be it. This has got to be the run. I'm locked. I'm so fucking locked in right now. It took me quite a few attempts. And of course, I use throwables to make it a little bit easier as well as the Spectre, but still a really tough boss fight. 
And if you fought this boss with no summons, I commend you. And I'm calling the psych ward right now to put you in a straight jacket. Let's go! I'm so fucking locked, bro. The complete one. No Luxasia, the complete. We fucking doing it. Definitely the hardest boss fight in the game. Definitely. There is learning about emotions. Learn all gestures. And right here, we should get... Once we purchase this... Normal weapon collector. Collect all normal weapons. Oh my god, it's my father. Oh snap. It's the final fight. For the final boss fight, I'm going to be doing some cleanup. And right here, we're going to get another record memory of beach and the cherry scented letter this was left behind by uh the old lady i forget her name yeah so i had to redo that last part and made sure that my hair turned white so i had enough humanity to get the ending that i wanted but we got another record out of it and now we can actually fight the next boss all right guys back at hotel crot um since i am doing a live playthrough i think it was chapter five i picked up this portrait handed it to geppetto and he put it on the wall um the more that we lied throughout the game, the more that this nose grew. Uh, this is actually one of the secret weapons that we need. And you can, I believe, only get this on a lie playthrough because you have to tell lies. Let's just grab it real quick. The golden lie. Now, all we need is, I believe, one or two more uh, special weapons. So if we come over here and we can trade the sad zealots ergo for the Ouroboros eye. And right here, we should get the other trophy for... There it is, the story of the refined old lady. Find out about the last story of Antonia. All right, let's take down this final boss once and for all. Well, for the first playthrough, that is. The next boss is Simon Manus. Finally, I get to fight this guy. And this first fight I did before they nerfed him. Basically, he had so much health that he seemed like he was taking little to no damage. Definitely a tough boss fight before his nerf, but nothing too bad that I couldn't handle. And there is Simon Manus done, the awakened god. Kill the Awakened God, Simon Manus. There we go, boys. And 3.5%. And right here, we're going to pick I Liberated Her from Ark Abbey, because that is the lie option. And there is, sorry, I'm eating. The story of one who dreamed. Find out about the last story of Simon Manus. So right here, I'm actually going to make a backup save because we're going to be going for two different endings here. We're going to be going for real boy. They all lived happily ever after. And this is for giving Geppetto our heart. And then we're also going to be going for Rise of P, which is the true ending of the game, I suppose. It involves us fighting another boss. All right, we're going to hit give your heart right here. And there it is. Real boy. They all lived happily ever after. Real boy. They all lived happily ever after. Reach the ending. Damn, I assume that was the bad ending because... That was wild. But now all we're gonna do, we're just going to download that save from our cloud storage. It's gonna load us right back up to Geppetto and then we're gonna refuse to give him our heart. So now we're gonna hit refuse. Here we go, the nameless puppet. There it is, the first puppet. Kill the nameless puppet. Whew. That was intense. That was a pretty intense boss fight. Now, I'm not here to explain these endings because I really don't know what's happening here myself, but with the true ending of the game, Rise of P, Sophia is back, and then it cuts to P laying in her arms. I, I'm really not sure what the significance is here. Did P give his life so that Sophia could live? Uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments as I am very curious. There we go. Rise of P rise of p reach the ending what a game man absolutely phenomenal i'm gonna mute this because copyright issues whatnot but oh my god what a game um i've noticed a pattern as i finish these games that i give my review on them so guess what this one gets a review too it's my video um very good such a good game i don't it's my second favorite game i've played this year hands down behind resident evil 4 the only thing i will say is i don't like how it seems like after i think it was the fifth act every boss had a second phase um not that you know that itself is the issue but you kind of you beat the first phase and you're like oh well i know there's a second phase coming up other than the two phases for every single boss i really have little to zero to say bad about the game i think everything with it is is phenomenal um very good game very good story as well um you know with it being a base spin off of you know pinocchio 
Um, I, I didn't really know what to expect going into it, but since I'm a huge Souls fan, I figured that I would give it a try, uh, pick it up, and it really blew me away. Very good game. And I should mention that the Rise of P ending is the true ending of the game, and therefore is the hardest to get. So that is the hardest out of the way, or I guess it's the lie playthrough um so then in turn our next playthrough our new game plus playthrough is going to be all truths okay so right here it wants us to go into new game plus but we're actually going to hit cancel because there's a couple trophies we're going to get so the first one we're going to get we're going to come right up to the piano and play the tune and there we go pianist of crot play a perfect tune on the piano at hotel crot and right here we're going to actually exchange both of these ergos get the final two weapons and we get special weapon collector collect all special weapons and then coming into geppetto's room we're going to pick up this right here which is the blue butterflies letter we're gonna read it through real quick and then we get the story of the blue butterfly find out about the last story of sophia and that wraps up the first playthrough so yeah this next one we're going to be telling mainly truth since we did tell lies in this one and i actually only need four more trophies for the platinum and those four are free from the puppet string getting that ending collecting all records um some of them are tied to new game plus the ones that i don't have um and i did miss one on my normal playthrough so i'm gonna have to go and grab that which does cause me to lie but it shouldn't alter anything too much and then the story of one father for finding about the last story of geppetto and then the story of a stranger girl for finding about the last story of eugenie i don't know if i'm saying that right i kick off new game plus and get right to it i buy the first record i need to work towards the record trophy the parade master goes down rather easy i buy the second record that i need the mad donkey wasn't that big of a problem and the next boss the watchman who was my first real wall in this game i beat on my first try heading back to the old lady we tell her that her baby is a puppet and we move on Foco was repeated the last bosses pretty easy have i actually gotten kind of good at this game also meeting alidoro again we sent him to the hotel and face the archbishop let's see how this goes and it was easy black rabbit brotherhood i cheese with throwables and everything was going really good in New Game Plus. I hate the Mad Clown Puppet. I really like the touch they added after the first playthrough, where all the cryptic puppet dialogues you can now read and see, like the King of Puppets calling you Carlo. In the Lorenzi Arcade, I buy the Golden Shadow Flower record, and that puts us at 12 out of 16 for the trophy. I talk to Belle again, because in my first playthrough, I messed up her side quest, and you actually get a record from her that I did not get. Champion Victor goes down, but the fight was way closer than I wanted it to be, and the green monster of the swamp was annoying. I buy another record and complete Bell's side quest to get another record. Just checking my humanity to make sure I'm on the right track, don't mind me. Corrupted Parade Master goes down. Oh hey, we're almost done. The second go around of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood went about as good as the first one, it didn't have any issues. I kill Alidoro again and get the other record from Eugenie. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. Why is the door guardian so annoying on New Game Plus? Is it me? Am I the problem? I don't fight the sibling duo this go around because I'm trying to be a good boy and I don't have the pulse cells to deal with it. Loxasia, we meet again. Hopefully the strategy works again without many hiccups and I beat her first try. Nice. Now I can go to Rosa Isabella Street entrance and speak to subject 826 and get the final record we need. And since I forgot to buy it, I'll pick up the white lady hunting apparel because I mean, look at that drip. Next, I come up on the most important choice of the playthrough with Sophia. And I choose to let her live because this is what the true choice is, I suppose. Pretty brutal. We tell Geppetto no and then move on to Simon Manus. At the time I'm recording this, Neo is just put patch 1.2 out, which massively nerfed Simon Manus, turning this fight into, well, not very hard. And finally, the nameless puppet. But first, I'm actually going to give Geppetto my heart again, so that way we can get this ending. And I'll see you guys at Hotel Crot. All right, so back at Hotel Crot. We're going to go back up to Geppetto's room and pick up the note on his desk. In the previous playthrough, I got the one for Sophia, the story of the last butterfly or something along those lines. And I actually could have got both of them in my first playthrough, but I just forgot. So we're going to come over to Geppetto's desk right here, pick this up, read Geppetto's letter, and we will get the story of one father. Find out about the last story of Geppetto. Now let's go get that last ending. All right, come on, nameless puppet. Just me and you now. Me and you between the Platinum Trophy. No! Uh, yeah, oh. the Nameless Puppet was annoying. But, I mean, that's what I expect out of a final boss in New Game Plus. He's tough, but I was not giving up. Let's go!
go. Come on, man. We fucking doing it. Oh my god. Now please give me this ending. Please. I swear if I did this for nothing, I'm gonna absolutely be so mad. Yes. Oh my god, we got the ending. Oh my god, we got the ending. There it is. Oh my god. Free from the puppet string. Free from the puppet string. Reach the ending. Oh wow. We're gonna hit cancel. We're gonna go back to the hotel. I'm gonna listen to the rest of the records and then we're finally gonna get the platinum trophy. Give me the trophy. Come on, please. Oh, we did it. Golden Melody. Lies of P. Trophy earned. Obtain all trophies. What a journey. Oh, wow. You know, there's not many games that uh, have made me feel the way that Lies of P has made me feel. Um... I, I don't normally say this, but this is one of the games that I, I wish I could just have my memory erased just to play it again for the first time. It was that good. It's probably the closest thing that I've played to a Dark Souls-esque game without the tag from software. Can't believe it's over. Wow. Two playthroughs, lots and lots of deaths, lots of consumables as well. We did it. All right, guys, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch another one of my videos. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, as it really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it. Be sure to comment on the video and push it out to your friends and family. Tell your grandma that I make YouTube videos. But yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.